So who are you? You're not the sensation, image, feeling, or thought. You're the being, the consciousness in which all this arises. And remember, it arises, and then it's experienced, and then it subsides. It's gone. The experience comes, it's there, then it's gone. But you are always there in the midst of all that experience. And that you is consciousness. So that is this word self-referral. You're not referring to your image or your self-image, which is your ego, but you're referring to your true self, which is the eternal witnessing awareness in which all experience occurs. And I read as a science of self-referral. Do you want to say a few yeah, words? Yeah, because <clears throat> what you're saying is so accurate, because the very definition from classical Ayurvedic text about Ayurveda, and pardon me for using the original Sanskrit quotes here, even though they may sound very foreign to your ears, but it helps me connect and share more authentic information. So it says, Hita hitam sukham dukkham ayustasya hita hitam manam chatacha yatroktam ayurveda sa uchyate. So what Ayurveda is, is really understanding what is beneficial for you, hitam or ahitam, what is not beneficial for you, what is going to bring you happiness or what is going to bring you unhappiness. It is a science of understanding the measurement of what is good or bad for you and understanding the nature of all these qualities. So when you talk about quanta and qualia is exactly the science of Ayurveda. So paying attention to if you eat heavy, you become heavy. If you eat light, you become light. You change your experience, you change your body. 